Hey there, 3D printing enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting comparison video lined up for you. We'll be taking a deep dive into two highly popular printers from Creality, the Creality K1 and its big brother, the Creality K1 Max. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of the features and benefits of each printer, helping you decide which one is the perfect fit for your needs. We'll also provide links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video. As prices update on these products almost daily with discount offers, you will find the most updated information in the description. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's kick things off by introducing the Creality K1 and K1 Max and the common features these models share. These printers are known for their reliability, versatility, and user-friendly design. Let's walk through some of these standout features. Both the K1 and K1 Max come fully assembled and you just need to remove the packing foam and connect the touchscreen interface. This shouldn't take you any more than 10 minutes. It's recommended to find the quick start guide and follow it as there is a mains voltage power switch you need to select. You need to position the switch to either 110 volts or 220 volts depending on your mains electricity provided in your location. They both have an automatic calibration and self-testing feature with a one-touch button on the touch screen which will test the extruder, heat bed, fan, leveling for any abnormalities and if detected will prompt you on the display. So you can proceed with your printing project with confidence that there are no issues. The heat bed is an aluminum alloy for quick, uniform heating that will reach 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius in 180 seconds. Both support power loss recovery, so in the event the power is lost, the print job will continue from where it left off. Equipped with an advanced filament sensor, the K1 and K1 Max detects when your filament runs out or gets jammed, pausing the print and preventing potential print failures. Both are equipped with dual cooling fans with a large fan on the print head with air ducts that cool the model directly. The second auxiliary fan is in the build chamber to enhance the cooling effect allowing the printed model to harden before any stringing and warping can occur. Let's discuss the K1 first, then move on to the K1 Max. The Creality K1 offers a generous build volume of 220 by 220 by 250 mm, allowing you to print larger and more complex objects. The overall cabinet's dimensions are 355 by 355 by 480 mm. The K1 can print at a top speed of 600 mm per second, so to put that into context, a regular 3D printer has a print speed up to 50 mm per second. The K1 and the K1 Max are outperforming the average printer's speed up to 10 times faster. A comparison to the Bamboo Labs P1P printer, well known for its speed, has a top print speed of 500 mm per second. The Creality K1 delivers these speeds at a price about 40% below the cost of the Bamboo Labs P1P, so if price is an important factor in your purchase decision, then the K1 may be what you are looking for. Prices update on these products regularly with sales and discounts, so if you want to find the most updated information to do a price comparison, check the links in the description. The K1 simplifies the leveling process with its hands-free automatic bed leveling feature. This ensures optimal bed alignment, saving you time and effort. The K1 is designed with modularity in mind, allowing you to easily upgrade or replace various components, such as the hot end, extruder, or bed, to enhance its capabilities as your needs evolve. You can upgrade the K1 with an AI camera and AI LiDAR as these do not come standard with the K1 model. The printer features a user-friendly interface with a color 4.3 inch or 109 mm color touchscreen, making it easy to navigate through settings and monitor the printing process. Whilst also being software compatible with Cura, Simplify 3D and Prusa Slicer, Thanks to its high-quality components and precise calibration, the K1 and K1 Max delivers consistent print results with impressive detail and accuracy. The K1's power consumption is up to 350 watts and weighs in at 27.5 pounds or 12.5 kilograms. Now, let's turn our attention to the Creality K1 Max. This printer takes all the great features of the K1 and brings them to the next level. 
let's explore what makes it stand out. The K1 Max offers an even larger build volume than that of the K1 with 300 by 300 by 300 millimeters, giving you the freedom to print even bigger objects or multiple smaller prints simultaneously. The overall cabinet's dimensions for the K1 Max is larger than the K1 being 435 by 462 by 526 millimeters. In case you skip the K1's print speeds from earlier in the video, the K1 Max also prints at a top speed of 600 millimeters per second. The K1 Max simplifies the bed leveling process with its dual hands-free automatic bed leveling feature. This ensures optimal bed alignment, saving you time and effort. The K1 Max comes standards with the AI camera and AI LiDAR unlike the K1 where you have the option to upgrade to obtain these. The printer features a user-friendly interface with a color 4.3 inch or 109 mm color touchscreen, making it easy to navigate through settings and monitor the printing process. Whilst also being software compatible with Cura, Simplify 3D, and Prusa Slicer. A unique feature of the K1 Max is it has an air purifier, which may be a requirement depending on your workspace. The K1 Max's power consumption is up to 1000 watts and weighs in at 39.6 pounds or 18 kilograms. Now that we've explored the features of both printers, let's help you decide which one to choose based on your specific requirements. If you prioritize affordability and versatility, the Creality K1 is an excellent choice. It offers a solid set of features and a more budget-friendly price point, making it suitable for beginners and intermediate users who want a reliable and versatile 3D printer without breaking the bank. If you are seeking a larger print volume and crave more advanced features like AI camera and LiDAR, the Creality K1 Max is the way to go. It's ideal for experienced users, professionals, or those who want to push the boundaries of their 3D printing projects. Both printers shine in terms of speed, thanks to its enhanced frame and motion system. If you frequently handle time-sensitive projects or want to maximize productivity, the K1 Max can significantly reduce printing time while maintaining excellent print quality. Both printers offer upgradeability options, but the K1 stands out in this regard. Its modular design allows you to easily upgrade components and adapt the printer to future advancements or changing needs. If you're someone who loves tinkering and wants a printer that can grow with you, the K1 is a great choice. The K1 is up there mixing it with the Bamboo P1P for speed, and the K1 delivers that speed at a much lower price. Check the links in the description for prices so you can conduct your own comparison. In conclusion, both the Creality K1 and K1 Max are impressive 3D printers with their own unique strengths. If you prioritize affordability, versatility, reliability, and speed, the Creality K1 is an excellent choice. If you require a larger print volume, advanced features like AI camera and LiDAR, the Creality K1 Max is the perfect fit for you. Ultimately, the decision boils down to your specific needs and the price. We hope this comparison has helped you make an informed choice. Regardless of which model you choose, you are selecting one of the best 3D printers released this year. That's all for today's video. If you found this comparison helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow 3D printing enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, happy printing!